Hello, and welcome to another episode of Poke Openings. It has been quite a few months, I think, uh, since the last one. And today, as you can tell from the title of this video, uh, this is kind of a bit of a mishmash of everything because this is the birthday celebration extravaganza special. Um, yeah, so it has been my birthday recently and as fate would happen, about a week ago, just over a week ago, there was a big sale on an online card retailer, Chaos Cards in the UK, uh, and they were reducing quite a few Pokemon card things, so I decided to treat myself to quite a few things. Uh, you, you've probably seen the, the thumbnail, so you already know what I got, but I will bring them out anyway. First up, I got a Paldean Fate ETB, or Elite Trainer Box. This is a set I've opened like three packs of, I think. And there was also a particularly good deal on these tins. Um, although, weirdly, there was also a deal if you bought two tins, and it worked out like four pounds more expensive than if you bought them both individually, so I don't know. But anyway, I thought I would treat myself to these. Uh, and also, another sort of happenstance, uh, a few days ago, the Pokemon Center, uh, in the UK, the sort of website, announced there was a promo deal if you used a code at checkout, you got a free promo card. So I bought myself a booster bundle of Temporal Forces, which is six packs, and because I did that, I got this promo card, which is the World's 2024 Pikachu and Mew. Uh, that is the promo number, if you are interested. And the back, I think, I think uh, because this isn't like an official card, or is it actually? I think this is backing cardboard. Uh, oh, it is actually, yeah. So I think there's a card behind, but this basically just explains what the card is. Um, if you're in the US and you are unaware of this for some reason, I think you can get these from GameStop, which I'd have really preferred, to be honest, because... Um, with the Pokemon Center, you've got to buy something over £20 to get free shipping. But anyway, I mean, I, I like it. I'm a sucker for promo cards. So anyway, I'm going to move everything to the side now. I think we're going to start with Temporal Forces, then we'll take a look at the tins, then we'll end with Paldean Fates, so BRB. Also, I completely forgot to mention as well, I got a pretty good deal on... I'm going to undo this very quickly. It is a Crown Zenith uh, Marnie playmat. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'll put it on the table, hang on. And there you go, that is the playmat. So it came in some like ultra premium collection or something of Crown Zenith, as you can see in the corner. I never bought that, but this um, on its own was on sale for like two or three pounds. And I thought, man, this is, this is really cool. It is an official playmat. I only have one, uh, I've been e needing a second one anyway, so this is really cool. I like Marnie, I like the art. Anyway, back to the cards. All right, so Temporal Forces, first up. Uh, this is a set that when I was looking on Pokemon Center for something to buy, I kind of realized I, um, according to my collector app, I hadn't opened many packs of this, so I thought, okay, hang on, two seconds. All right, uh, yeah, so I thought, well, I'll treat myself and buy a couple more packs, because I know there are some really cool cards in this set as well. And um, this kind of was around the time, uh, as you'll no doubt notice from my channel, that I didn't buy a ton of Pokemon cards. So uh, I think I must have opened like, I don't know, maybe like six or eight packs overall. Uh, and I've seen other videos featuring some really cool uh, trainer galleries and other stuff from this set. So why not put that to the side? I have my backboard uh, as usual. That will be where I put the promos. That will be where I put any of the good hits. And if that spills over, I'll move the promos because, you know, they're not really pulls. So we... I can't remember his name. I can never remember Giraffe Raikou. Uh, Iron Leaves... I want to say, uh, Walking Wake, uh, I I Iron Steel, I can't remember, the Cabalion one, uh, we've got another Raikou, and we've got another Iron Leaves. Right, let's get straight into it then. I think, first up, we'll do the second Raikou pack, 
Um, yeah, we've got a lot to get to today, so uh, grab a snack, sit down. Um, don't let me tell you what to do though. Maybe maybe you don't want to. Maybe uh, you got places to be. Right, I'm going to say fire energy. Okay, that's a reverse. Is it? Wait, is it like... Hang on, hang on, hang on. So the reverse... What the hell is going on with this pack? What? So that's the rare. Okay. Sure. I'm going to have to reverse engineer this at the end because I don't know what the hell I did there. Oh, wait! No, I'm an idiot. There is no card trick, is there? There's no card trick with um, Scarlet and Violet. God, it has been a while since I've opened that. Well, there you go. Our rare is a Macargo Hollow. Lucky I didn't pull anything crazy there. Uh, we've got a Peldon, a Braylon. We'll go through this quickly. Rolly Coley, Heatmore, a Mudsdale. You know, an explorer's guidance. There could be something good after the first reverse. Colossal, we've got a licky licky reverse. And um, we've got a skitty reverse. Right, I'm an idiot. Okay, next next pack I'll open normally. I'm just gonna tidy this up. Alright, off to a solid start. Right, let's hope so it's just one to the front, isn't it? It's and that's the energy. Well, apart from the code card, obviously you get rid of that as well, but um, I have heard they did away with the like colour coding thing, I'm going to say electric and ooh, hey, okay that's already off to a good start then, let's begin, yeah they did away, sorry, with the colour coding of the um, code cards, which is pretty good because sometimes you would open a pack and be like, oh, I know there's nothing cool in here, got a Carvana, we've got an Ekans, got a Turtwig, I, yeah I'm not Recognising a lot of this art, so I definitely haven't uh, opened many of these. Pucciana. We've got Eri, the fighting type team star, I think they were called. Colossal. We've got Boxed Order. So, oh, f whoa, okay, we got an Ispec. Wow. Okay, okay. That's, that's really cool. That's incredibly cool. Um... This isn't a spec, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, a spec. Yo, okay. I, uh, I'm i gonna, oh, do I have sleeves? I have sleeves somewhere. I'm gonna sleeve that in a second. Let's see if we get anything else and then I'll sleeve them all. That is very, <laughs> holy crap. Oh my God. We have Iron Crown EX, that's his name. Uh, that is a secret rare. That's crazy. Holy crap! So we got an Ace Spec and a Secret Rare Full Art uh, and a Maridon Hollow. Wow! Okay, I'm I'm gonna go grab some sleeves, BRB. Wow! Okay, that was uh, that was unexpected. What a what a difference from one pack to another. Uh, right, I'm gonna sleeve them up. I've got my sleeves to the side here. Uh, let's jump in to some Temporal Forces again. That. I mean, that's, I don't think you're going to top that this whole video. That is like an incredible pack. I'm going to say Steel Energy. Nope, Psychic. All right, let's get to it. Totodile. Um, I want, yeah, I th want to say I've pulled the Fraligator, I think. Uh, we've got a Dealing, as in like a regular hollow Fraligator. It wasn't anything crazy. We've got a Pidov, a Pinecore, a Sawsbuck. Oh, a Cypher Maniacs code breaking. Never seen that one before. That's cool. I do like the past, uh, ancient and future cards. Oh, Bihayem. I didn't know he was in this set. I love LGM and Bihayem. Uh, we've got a reverse Iron Hands. Very cool. That, for a second, I was like, is this a gold card or something? But no, it is a... Uh, it's a regular card, but like because of its effect and the fact it's yellow as well, it just made it look like the you know card was gold. We've got a reverse cottony, very cute, and ooh boy, okay. Um, we've got a full art iron leaves, which is that's a secret rare as well. This is crazy. Okay, uh. 
that, that's wild. That, I'm so glad I got this on camera. This, this, like, does temporal forces have like amazing pull? Hang on, BRB. All right, that's better, less glare. Man, this, I don't, I, I don't know, it, like, it, is this set, does it have some incredible pull rates or something? Because that's crazy. That's an A spec and two secret rares in three packs. Even if the rest of these packs give me nothing but hollows, which I'm kind of expecting now. Like, is that, is that an alt art? I don't, I don't know enough about the set to know, but this is... This is wild. Um, cool, right, I'm gonna say dark energy. Nope, fire, all right. Let's see what else we can get. We've got a giraffe rig, a Roselia. We've got a cutie fly, a Drillba, looking very happy. A Cyphermaniac again, Souls Buck again. We've got Perilous Jungle, very cool. We've got a Reverse Ponytar. All right, is it just going to be a regular? I've, I've had no hits this video. <laughs> Ooh, that's really cool. Obviously, it's just a reverse Arbok. It's, it's nothing like hit-wise, but dude, that, that's really cool artwork. I really like that. Very symmetrical. And we have an Iron Thorns uh, Hollow to end with. Oh, yeah, it's the um, uh, Tyranitar. Uh, it's the future Tyranitar. Well, that is one of the first hollows we've actually pulled from these packs. So, uh, dude, if that's, that is crazy. So we've pulled two of the, um, two of the sword trio. That's, that as well. And both in secret rare forms. I swear the middle one is like an alt art. I'll need to look it up, I guess, but I'm gonna say steel, nope, water. All right, let's begin with a mobile. We've got Meditite. A, oh, Turtonator. Slightly derpy looking Turtonator there, but still. We've got a Hootoot, very cool, I haven't seen him in a while. We've got an Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, which is the ancient trait, because it, it says so. We've got a Rapidash. A Bolt Hunt, very cute, he's a good boy. Ooh, yay, Palafin! We've got Reverse Palafin. I did use him in Scarlet and Violet. He was cool. We've got a Reverse Electabuzz. Very cool. I'm liking that artwork. And our penultimate rare is a Roaring Moon. Let's go. I don't think... Ooh. Oh, yeah, because it's ancient as well. It's like... It looks like it's like faded on the side. That's cool. I will absolutely take that. I, um... We've just been pulling Paradox Pokemon, which I guess... Temporal Forces is kind of the set about that, so it, it, it makes sense. But still, that is... Um, I still can't get over three... Jesus Christ. Wow. I... As I said, I'm happy I filmed this. Not that I'm really in the... You know, not that I'm the type to buy singles and pass her off as pulls anyway, but still. Fire Energy. Nope, Psychic. Okay. Last pack of Temporal Forces. We have Rello. We have Ponyta. Ah, Chatot. Hello, Chatot. We've got a Cottony. A Unpheasant. Wow, I haven't seen Unpheasant in a set in quite a while. We've got a Center Scorch, a Pokemon that was in literally every set since Sword and Shield started. I thought we had a Hollow then, I was confused. We have Palafin. Ooh. A reverse Victini. Okay, that's cool. I'm guessing it's a regular hollow then in the set. Because it can't be an uncommon, surely. We've got a reverse Iron Treads. Uh, again, looking very cool in reverse. And our law. Yo, okay, we've got an Iron Crown EX. Dude. Okay. That. That's cool. I mean, that, that is a regular EX and stuff. I'll, I'll put it in the back, but I think we're going to run out of room by the end of the video. But I'm going to put it in the back anyway and sleeve it. Um, and then next up, I think we'll grab the tins. So I'll BRB after I clean that up.
All right, up next is the Maraidon and Coraidon tins. Um, now, I don't think... I, I'm not sure when these came out, actually. It is just... yeah, it's just the two of them. Um, I want to say this is near the start of Scarlet and Violet, but I could be wrong. I don't know what packs come in these, either. Um, part of what kind of... What sold it to me, basically, is that on the sale on the website, as I mentioned, the prices were basically at the price that I used to pay for tins back in, like, 2014 or 2015. They were, like, 13 or 14 pounds or something. Um, these days, in the UK at least, these are like 24, 25 pounds. They have gone up massively, so I never buy tins really, which is why you never see them in the videos. But these were, you know, at a good price. And I thought I'd get both because I'd have matching promos. Because so many times I've bought like a collection box or a tin, but I've just got like one of the promos out of the like three available, so I thought, well, I'll get them to match. So that is the Coraidon EX promo card. I'm not going to take out of this because there's a code card behind that I will be using. And we have four packs. So we have... Pa oh, Paldia Revolved! Okay, always happy to open more of that. There's loads of full art trainers I would love to pull. Now the Paldia Revolved, okay. Skull and Violet Base. Mm, the Silver Tempest, okay, not bad. Will we get the same thing from this tin? I'd be thoroughly surprised if we didn't. But that is the Miraidon uh, EX promo, actually. Yeah, it's fairly early on. This is either the first set of tins or maybe the second set of tins that came out. I think there might have been tins, actually, with the starters, so that would make sense. Got Paldi Revolved again. Paldi Revolved. Skull and Violet Base and Silver Tempest again. Cool. Right, I'm going to move these to the side and then we'll get into the packs. I have made the executive decision not to put the promos there because I realised we'll get one more promo with the ETB, that will be full, we don't have any room there, so even if we get one more hit, there won't be enough room. So, we're just going to start on Silver Tempest and work our way. Um, so, when, if, well, if rather than when, let's not, uh, let's not shoot aim too high here, but uh, if I do need the room, I'll move Pikachu away. If I get more than eight hits in this video, I don't know what I'm going to do, because that will be, like, historic. Um, this is... wait, is this... Sword and Shield. There's still a card trick, isn't there? Right? Three to the front? Right? Three... Okay, it's four to the front. Yeah, oh god, did I just see something? I'm not sure. Okay, that's a dark energy. I don't know if anyone saw anything there. I Maybe it was like an edge of a cool thing, or maybe it's a reverse or something. Anyway, let's begin. Gym Trainer. We've got Curly. Ah, yeah, this is taking me back. The last set, one of the last sets, anyway, with Yellow Borders. We've got Toracat, Feebas, Fanpy. Oh, yeah, no, I got a ETB uh, for last Advent card in there, didn't I? Yes. Litten. Oh, if we can get an Incineroar, that'd be cool. We got a Rufflet. A Fennekin. Our reverse is Lance. Very cool. Did... No, it was just a dark... Okay, it's a hollow crowbat. I'll take that. I don't think I have that. Maybe I do. Uh, I can't remember. But a hollow is a hit because uh, this is back in the day before a hollow was guaranteed. I'm calling them hits. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with most things, to be honest. Uh, it depends on if I like the Pokemon, obviously, but, you know, I'd be, honestly, I would be happier with a Hollow Beehive or Reuniclus or Pokemon that I like, rather than, like, an EX or something of a Pokemon I'm not that fond of, like a, a Greedent. If I pulled another Greedent, I would happily, you know... If I, well, if I pulled a Greedent EX or V or something, I would not be as overjoyed. We've got a Morpeko, very cute, the Hangry Mode. Got a Capturing Aroma. A, ooh, Waylord, I don't think I have that. That's a very cool one. 
we got Stunfisk, looking as useful as ever. Togedemaru, very round, cute boys today, and I am including Waylord in that. We've got an Esper, a Smeagol. Litten again. Ooh, ooh, Radiant Jirachi. Okay. I forgot there were Radiant cards in this set. <laughs> a shiny jo Ooh, okay. No, I'm, I'm sure this isn't like a super valuable card or anything. That's so cool! Ah! Oh, right, okay, let, let's see what's behind it though, uh, just in case. And we have a Verizion. You're not even a cool future version of C. You're just boring, normal sword guy. And I got sleeve this, BRB. That is a crazy board of poles there. That's. I, I didn't expect to get that so. I know Paldean Fates, uh, which is the Elite Trainer box, that apparently has pretty high hit rates, as in, like, you're pretty much guaranteed in need to be to get, like, uh, you know, a, a decent few nice cards or whatever. And I, I kind of kept that till the end, because I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that'll be, that'll be the set where, you know, maybe I'll get the cool cards. But, like... I've already got five, this is crazy, fighting energy. Right, and I'm smart this time and remembered it's so it's Scarlet and Violet. We've got everybody's favourite Pokemon, Broxish. We've got a Cacnea. Ah, oh, very cute Sando. And a Mareep, another very cute. For Forestress is pretty cute. I like Forestress. Rocky Helmet, uh, always a good item to use in the game. My boss stiff, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be maybe controversial here. Don't I don't do not care for my boss stiff's design. We've got a Bishop, very cool. And we've got a, a reverse Amarouge, very nice. Will we be? Uh, oh oh oh! My boss stiff's a reverse, isn't it? Yeah, it's dark. I didn't notice that. Okay, and we've got Professor's Research. Okay, that's fine. I've opened a ton of Scarlet and Violet base sets, so like. There are cards I'd obviously love to pull, like Full Arts, you know, and Secret Rares, stuff like that. But there's nothing in my mind where I'm like, oh man, I really want, you know, X card from Skull and Violet. So, if they ain't, if, if they ain't big hits, I don't mind. Dark. No, ooh, Electric again. No, wait, no, they are fighting me at the last time. Never mind. We've got a Cloitzer. Uh, we've got a Grievyard. See, that dog line I did like. Yeah, Mastiff, yeah, he's, it's just ugly. It's, it's just not a, it's not a cute Pokemon. We've got a Ponyard, who is a cute Pokemon. We've got an Ultra Ball, which is not a Pokemon, or cute. Uh, we've got an Espartha, I really like Espartha. It's like, it's not a super crazy good Pokemon in the game that I'm aware of, but you know, we've got Arvin. Oh, first reverse is a Florigato. Chilling in the tree. <gasps> Ooh, what? oh no, no, wait, no, wrong set, damn. Um, I think it might be in Paldean Fate. I pulled the, uh, these, like, trainer gallery or whatever this is called, of the shiny Wug trio. So I've got Wiglet, and then I've got the, the adjoining one, but it's, like, in shiny form from Paldean Fate. So I've technically got the set. It's very rare that I do that. I'll pull, like, a trainer gallery of, like, one stage of Pokemon, but never get another one. That is so cool. I love Wiglet. Uh, that is go a good... I'm going to have to move Pikachu soon. There's only room for three more, and then I'm going to have to, like, come up with something. This is so cool. Let's see what's behind, just in case. Okay, it's Coridon. That is fine. Okay, right, I'll sleeve in this. BRB. Man, I can't believe we've had this many hits already. There's still four packs to go before we get on to the ETB. Of the set that's kind of known for giving really generous pulls. That's... That... Uh, wow. Genuinely, like... I have opened way more cards in other videos. Uh, way more packs in other videos and had significantly less hits than this. I'm... Honestly, even if like all of these have nothing and we get like one sort of like trainer gallery or whatever from Paldian Fates, I'll be incredibly happy. It wow. 
Okay, anyway, let, let, let's get on with it. We've got a Glimmet. We've got a Frigibax. We've got a Tandemouse, very cute. A Sprigatito. A Grusha. A Miss Magius. I think I pulled full art Grusha, I want to say. Not the alt art, but the full art. So that was pretty cool. We've got Bramblegast. A Reverse Voltorb. Very cool. We've got a Reverse Bravery Charm. Very nice. And a Hollow Glim, uh, Glimmer. Glimora. Glimmer. Glimora. Sorry, it was tongue tied there. Uh, I think I have that Hollow. But you know what? I've opened so many Paldea Evolved um, packs just because. I want those like full art trainers and stuff that you know I I think I have probably most of the hollows at this point. Uh, I'm gonna say fighting energy. No nope, grass. Alright. Uh, let's begin with Nimble. Ah, Shinx looking cute. Got a rookie D. A Pikachu, which the hollow version of this featured in McDonald's uh, last year, I want to say. I've just, I just bought that on Card Market to finish my McDonald's 2023 set. I was just missing him. Got a Gothitelle. We've got an Arch, Ar 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 Octibax, sorry. We've got a Giancarno, Giancarno. We've got a Zvilas, uh, Reverse. Very cool. We've got a Pinchurchin, Reverse. And our rare is a Luxray Hollow. Actually, maybe I don't have that. Maybe I was lying about having all of the Hollows in this set. I could be wrong. Uh, right. Two left. Let's see if we are blessed with the Dancing Birds. Because I can't, I can't remember his name. Um, the, the, the starters from Skull and Violet are... I like Skeledurge. Okay, let's go on to... F no, I was going to say Fighting Energy. It is dark. Um, let's begin with Wingle. We've got a Pineco. A Tinker Tink. A Great Ball. A Delivery Drone. Can it deliver us something cool? We've got a Furry Giraffe. A Spidops. Actually, Spidops is really cool. Um, if I didn't have this card, I'd be hyped to have pulled it, but I do. I think I've got several spares. Uh, we've got a Krogunk Reverse. A Litlio Reverse. <laughs> he looks a little bit like he's been caught doing something. Or he's kind of like shyly smiling. Ah, ooh, a Tyranitar Hollow. Very nice. Another card I don't recognise, so maybe... Uh, you know what? Just just disregard any statements I make about my collection, because I am probably incorrect. Um, the one card I was searching for from this set, I don't even think it's worth much, um, is the Dendra full art and um, alt art. I'm going to say water. No, nope, fighting. Uh, Dendra is the... she was the, like... Fighting teacher, best girl in my opinion. Um, we've got a Volto. I may just buy the single. We've got a Dunsparce. Uh, I'm pulling too many here. We've got a Noibat. Okay, that that's really thickly cut for some reason. Uh, we've got a Sprigatito. Oh, Sitaiten, very cool looking Sitaiten. We've got a Falkner. I don't remember Falkner being in this set, but okay. Hey, the Dunsparce! Let's go. Our first reverse is a Nactly. Very cool. Our second, oh, second reverse is a Faulkner. Fair enough. And our rare is a Slacking. So, no, no crazy pulls there. But, uh, as I mentioned, we have six already. Uh, like, things I would, I would say are quite impressively above a hollow. Anyway, I'm going to go clear that up and then we'll get into the ETB to finish it. Alright, we are back with the final item today and that is the Paldean Fate Elite Trainer Box. So, as I mentioned, this is one of the sets that... hang on. This is one of the sets that I kind of didn't buy much of, because uh, at the time it kind of passed me by. It Because it was a limited set, it did one of those 
mildly annoying things that like I hadn't thought whatever the set that came out around this time was for like a couple weeks. I bought a few packs and then one of the stores was like, oh hey Paldean Fates is out next week. I was like, it's, it's been like three weeks. Well, I'm not buying more cards from like a new set again. So we've got the player's guide. Uh, you, you guys know how ETBs work. Uh, inside, oh, we don't have the pack art actually. Um, sometimes it comes with a display of the pack art, but not this time. I bought this partly because it's Mimikyu, and I didn't realise Mimikyu was on the Paldean Fates ETB. Uh, so that is the inside of it, which will make for a very good background, uh, backing board kind of thing. Uh, so, inside we have sleeves. Oh, yo, that's really cool! Ah, I thought it was going to be... But, ah, that, that's really nice, actually. That's inverted Mimikyu. Even better. Okay. These are, uh, hands down, one of my favourite sleeves, then. That's awesome. I love Mimikyu. Uh, as does everybody else. I know it's not a, uh, it's not a crazy statement. I'm putting the code card to the side there. Uh, let's see, we've got a block of energy cards. Always useful. Um, me and some friends, oh, well, me and one friend have been making decks from all my spares, and that's been kind of fun. We've got the burn and poison counters, as always, the plastic ones. Uh, we have the dice, which, ooh, nice, yeah, it's like a glittery, glittery white, and then a kind of like uh, orange and like dark purple, slash dark blue, maybe? The lighting isn't perfect, so I can't exactly tell. Uh, we've got some of the dividers, which are these, very nice. And we have a promo card behind. Which, ah, oh, that's really cute. I didn't actually see the promo card. I saw the listing of this and like it did show it, but I was like, ah, I can wait. I'll, I'll wait to see what it looks like. That is adorable. I'm really happy with that. I'm not going to put it in the back, actually, because we don't really have any room. But I'm going to put it to the side anyway. I believe all that's left is eight or nine. I can't remember. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. Oh, nine. Okay, nine packs. Sweet. So uh, we got nine packs of Paldean Fates. Let me clear everything up and we'll crack into them. All right. I've moved Pikachu from the back there just in case. Maybe I'm, I'm, you know, feeling uh, too, too positive. Uh, you know, maybe I'm hoping for too much, but uh, I'm moving it just in case because I, I reckon we'll get two pulls from these, but maybe we won't. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna guess fire, electric, good. So I know the this set has trainer galleries of shiny versions of previous trainer galleries and stuff like that. We've got a Maractus. So this is a fairly new set to me. As I said, I've opened three packs, I think. Got a Guinea Ghoul, a Scraggy, a Flittle, hey, a Whimsicott, oh. Oh, yeah, because it's fairy. Uh, that was very confusing. It's like, why is it psychic? Got a Scrafty. Ooh, that's a cool looking Swoobat. Oh, first reverse. Hey, Toad School. Let's go. That's a, is that a reprint. I swear that's a reprint from another set. We've got an electric generator reverse. And, oh, oh <laughs> that's appropriate. We've got a hollow Mimikyu. There you go. Very nice. Well, first pack, you know. Wasn't crazy, but there's still eight packs left, so uh, more than enough potential. Let's do another Dodonzo pack. I'm really uh, okay. Well, I just kind of ruined that one. Let's uh, energy, yeah, energy code card to the side. Let's guess what. I, I, I sort of saw the peak of fire, even as I said water. Anyway, Dedende, Dedende. I was gonna say Dedende. We've got Noibat, very cool. A Chime Call, ooh, that's very pretty. A Pikachu, that, wait, that was, is, th is that a reprint as well then? Was, is this a reprint from Skull and Violet Base? Because this is the one I mentioned that McDonald's have um, in hollow form from last year. We've got Nimona's Backpack. Okay, interesting. Ah, oh, Dashbun. There we are, that's another dog line I like. I like two out of three of the dog lines in Scarlet and Violet. We've got a Nest Ball. A Reverse Flittle. Very cute. We've got a Reverse Scrafty. Not, not very cute. 
Ooh, and a Toad Screw EX. Let's go. I don't think I have. I have a Toad Screw EX, but I don't think it's this one. I'm going to go sleeve it. BRB. All right, it is getting full there. We've got one more space. I appreciate that EXs are kind of like a step above a hollow and the rest are more. Oh, okay, this, this opened the same way. Fair enough, then. We're going to see the first card. Code card to the side. I'm going to say steel. No, grass. All right, then. Let me move that back there. So, ooh, uh, I think we've got a hollow because I just saw the edge of it. Anyway, doesn't matter. We've got a monkey. A flittle. Is this quite a small set I'm picking up? Pikachu. <laughs> Graveyard. Okay. Oh, okay. Curlia. Oh, wait, no. Did we see Curlia in the first pack, maybe? I can't remember. Ooh. Gengar. Let's go. That's really cool. Like, I know it's it's not a it's not a hollow or anything, but you've got a technical machine crisis punch. Our first reverse is a Cerule Edge. Very dark. We <gasps> Yo <laughs> I think this is a double. I'm pretty sure I pulled this before. Um Yeah. I think I pulled this in the... So I don't think I have that on video. I, I think I pulled it with some friends. Uh, the triple pack. Yo, that's really cool, though. I'll absolutely take that palafin. Uh, trainer gallery. And we've got... Za Ooh, damn. Look at that. That's so cool. I know it's just a hollow, but, like, man, the pattern and everything. I love Zatu. Zatu is, like, my boy. Especially after uh, Mystery Dungeon. Blue. But, yeah, ah. Oh. Well, I'll put Palafin in the back, though, because that is, that is a hit, even if I already have it. That's still really cool. All right, next up, Cerule Edge. So we're officially full. I want to say, I think this is the first... Wow, they are all ripping like this today. Okay, uh, this is the first video where I've ever filled the back completely. Uh, and that is completely okay with me. I'm going to say water. Nope, dark. Okay then. Right, no peaks this time, thank god. We've got Paldean Student. I wonder if that's a full art. That'd be cool. That's, uh, I know full art with trainers are very popular. We got a Fido. Very cute. Oh, Haunter. Yo, Haunter's really cool as well. Have we pulled a Ghastly? I can't remember, but like the Gengar card was really cool. So is this Haunter. Ooh, Cottony with the uh, bold lines there. Ooh, there's a Charizard in this set, is there? Ho ho! Okay then, we've got a Charmeleon, an Ultra Ball, we've got a Primeape, I feel like that's... Isn't that a, um, a reprint from, um, you know, like the fight, um, Battle Styles? I swear that's like something, one of the Battle Style ones. We've got a Reverse Scraggy. Uh, barely could tell, but thankfully that symbol is there. We've got a Reverse Natu. There you go, to go with that really, really cool Zatu. And we've got an Executor. Oh, yo. Yo, the background on this one's cool. The background of the last two have been genuinely amazing. Like, yeah, kudos. They, they've made Hollows, at least in my opinion anyway, Still pretty cool in this set, even if they're not, you know, big hits. Um, our backboard is safe for now. Time for Pikachu. Can you tell? It's a shiny Pikachu. You you can you can tell, right? It's it's slightly more orange, or slightly lighter. I can't remember which way shiny Pikachu goes, but because there was like full thing then, I was like, is this a fully gold card? What have I done? Oh, I think I saw a border of something. Uh, fire. No, fighting. Might have been a, a hollow again. i have to open this in a better way, maybe. Anyway, we've got Fampy. We've got Chincha. We've got Varum. Oh, Charmander! Hey, there you go. We just need Charizard now, which I doubt is going to be a very valuable card in this set. We've got Dashbun again. Nimona's backpack again. Primeape again. Hello. Okay. So this is uh, part of the the shiny vault thing, right? No, it's a secret rare. Well, that's cool. Okay. So we got a um, 
I'm going to have to make room in the back now. we got a shiny Sneasel. Dude, let's go. These are so cool. Um, uh, Hidden Fates or w w whatever the other one was. Well, they had that. Some of them were like full art Chinese. Some of them. But they were a shiny vault. This is just, I guess, part of the regular set. There's loads of, like... I mean, there's at least double the set in Secrets as well. That's crazy. All right, I'll sleeve that in a second. After, reverse Mo Nimona's backpack. Let's go. Oh, and my boss stiff. Okay, I'm going to go sleeve Sneasel. All right, we can just about fit five on that side. So I can maybe fit another one there. So, um, yeah, if I don't get more than one more pull in this video, that will be fine. If I do, I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but it's not a terrible problem to have, is it? So we've got shiny Didonzo, I guess this is. Um, I thought it was just regular Didonzo, but I realised, hmm, actually, is every Pokemon on the cover a shiny? I don't know. Another, another one like this. All right, let's open it up. Code to the back. Uh, I'm going to guess Fighting Energy. Uh, no, it is Steel. It's the first Steel we've pulled, I think, uh, this whole episode. Right, let's begin with Barboach. Lich... Oh, you, you good, Lechonk? Uh, we've got Execute. Hey, to go with that really cool Executor Hollow. Ah, Ghastly. We definitely haven't pulled that because that's... Man, the whole Ghastly line has looked really cool. I, um... Really digging that. Iono. Um, I wonder if... If there... Ooh. I wonder if there is, like, a full art Iono or something in this set. I know, obviously... Paldia Evolved does. That's the famous one. Uh, one of my friends actually pulled that. The lucky bastard. We've got Killer Wattrel. Shout out Corey if you're watching this. Clive, the hip happening cool young student uh, who is definitely young and a student. We've got Whimsicott. We've got Reverse Varum and Whimsicott was reverse as well you could see. And we've got a Hollow Houndstone. Very cool. All right, three packs left. Weirdly, this set, me, I think I'm thinking of the right set anyway, but like, this is kind of well known for giving hits, I think because there are so many like secrets and everything. But weirdly, we've not, we've not had like majorly crazy pulls yet. Whereas the other sets that I didn't presume we would get the major crazy pulls, we've kind of got, Crazy up poles. I don't know. But, you know, I'm speaking too soon um, because we've still got three packs left. Uh, not that I'm ungrateful for everything I've pulled, of course. Uh, right, let's begin with a Chime Core. Ghastly again, very nice. We've got a Paldean Student. Is that a different card? I swear the setup is different. I don't remember that kid being there, but I don't know. We've got a Barboach. Oh, an Atticus. Let's go. That's cool. Uh, oh, Don Fan. Ah, oh, that's really cool art, actually. Very nice. A Nest Ball. Uh, a Reverse Iono. Very nice. We've got a Reverse Haunter. That's cool. I almost couldn't tell for a second. I was like, wait, is this a shiny? But no. Um, shiny Haunter, Gengar, and Ghastly are also notorious because they're not the very different. We've got a For Fortress EX. Let's go. So this is a regular uh, EX, not like a secret or anything, but that is really cool. It is a terror type and it's grass. Uh, well, I guess it is steel as well. Cool. Right. I'm going to go sleeve this. All right. This is actually genuinely crazy. We've had like 10 pulls from, I think if my maths is correct, this will be 23 packs by the end. So even if we get nothing here, that's like almost, that's almost a one in two pull rate electric. Oh yes, it is. Uh, so I mean, that is kind of crazy. Right, let's begin with the routes and a toad school and a woobat. So we are seeing a lot of the same cards now. There's obviously it's a tiny base set. There's like 90 something. Got a fampy, very cute. Curlia, very cute. God of War would be nice as well. Technical Machine Crisis Punch again. We've... Ooh, Graplocked. 
Okay, I didn't know Graplock was in the set. That's cool. We've got a reverse primeape. A reverse execute. And ooh, a full art judge. Okay. That's cool. I think that well, no, I was gonna say the first full art, but it's not the first full art we've pulled this video. Um I don't know where I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna go sleeve him and I'll work that out. I'm just gonna lay him down there. Um because we're so close to the end anyway, I will I'll do like a different shot to show off all the pulls we got. Uh, so, last pack. Can this bring some incredible heat? I mean, I say incredible heat as if we didn't just pull a full art, uh, which we clearly just did. So, that's pretty cool anyway. I mean, don't get me wrong, Judge I don't think is what everyone's clamouring for from this set, but still, very cool. So, let's begin with a Woobat and a Tandem Mouse. Oh, Paldean Whooper! Let's go! Okay, this pack was worth it regardless. A Clodzire would be amazing. Just give me a Clodzire. That's all I'm asking. Like, I, I don't even care if it's uncommon. Just Clodzire, please. Grapplock. We haven't had a Clobopus either, actually. Uh, I don't know for like the third or fourth time. It is a useful card, though, from what I remember. you got a Killer Wattrel. We've got a Shiny Annihilate. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool, right, okay, a ending already on quite a banger then. Do we have anything else behind? Let's see, we've got a reverse lantern and a hollow cyclozar. Well, very cool. Right, I'm going to go sleeve this and I'll be all be. All right, because I'm not going to have room to display everything all at once, I thought we'd just go through them again. So we've got Silver Tempest and Scarlet and Violet pulls. Pretty darn cool. Then there were the absolutely crazy Temporal Forces uh, pulls, two of which were from the same pack. The, like, genuinely mind-blowing. Out of six packs, we got four hits. I mean, technically it was three packs, you know, out of six, but still incredible pulls. And Paldean Fates absolutely living up to its name and providing a ton of very good cards as well. Six out of nine packs had something pretty cool in them. Honestly, I can't get over it. That is 12 really cool, uh, like above hollow cards out of 23 packs. There were more packs with things in them than just average hollows and stuff than there were without. That is mind-blowing thank you guys very much for watching um i will be doing more pork openings in the future i'm not sure when exactly yet i may kind of do similar to this and buy a few things and do them all at once uh, i do prefer a longer form video like that let me know in the comments below though if you preferred this or like the shorter ones or whatever let me know if you've had any really cool polls recently as well because uh yeah i'm i'm really well, I'm, I'm blown away. I cannot think of a proper way to end this video. So instead I'll say...